Hey what's up guys in today's video I'll be answering your questions about Xbox One so let's get started first I'm gonna show you the boot time of Xbox One so here we go Okay, so many of you have been asking me about the Xbox One. Is it quiet? Uh, does it cam come with a headset? Um, do I need it? If I don't have a 4K TV, is it loud when I am playing games? Uh, how about the temperature? Uh, upscaled games? Difference in 4K? Uh, that sort of things. I've been getting a lot of questions about it, so I'm going to answer that for you. Uh, first of all, let's start with the 4K. So I'm gonna jump right to settings. So as you can see, the 4K is available, which wasn't uh, because they didn't release the update. But a few days ago, I got the update so I could change from 180p to 4k uh, I'm gonna show you the difference so I'm gonna switch back to 180 so people have as has been asking me if there is a difference, uh, well there is, um, there is more color into it, that's that's what I thought, you know, the dashboard, everything just looks much cleaner, uh, more color, even when you're playing games, it, it just looks so sharp and and, and the colors makes, makes the difference, uh, so let's switch back to 4K. So as you can see, this is 180p. I'm gonna switch to 4K. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you can see that the colors just 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 change. Uh, like for example, this the the background of of my friend list just just changed you know compared to 180p so a lot of y'all want to know if, it, if it's quiet compared to the original Xbox one well um, I think it is a bit quieter than the original Xbox one um, after a few t uh, after a few uh, months um, I got that 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 loud noise when I when I started playing a game you know when I switch from a game to another game the, the Xbox fa fan would just go very loud uh, I have been testing this Xbox for you know when uh, the first day when I got it for like 40, uh, 40 uh, uh, hours straight I've been downloading my games um, yeah you know temperature wise it's it's been just the same as as as, uh, uh, as when I started uh, when I booted the Xbox. You know the the temperature just stays the same. Uh, it's even it's even cooler than the original Xbox One. 
uh, yeah, so that's the difference. Uh, people have been asking me if the Xbox One S comes with an headset. No, it does not, which uh, is a big shame, you know. Uh, I mean, Microsoft is the one that been promoting Xbox Live community, etc., like that. But yeah, I don't know, you know. Uh, you pay like 400 bucks for a Xbox One S, two terabyte, and you don't get an headset. Uh, yeah, just don't get it. Um, yeah, overheat. No, it doesn't. It uh, no, I haven't uh, had any problem with overheat. No glitches so far. No freezes. Nothing so far has been very positive. Um, upscaled video games. People have been asking me about upscale 4K games. Um, well, yeah, like I said, uh, the only thing that I noticed. Uh, when I switch from 80, uh, 1080 uh, to 4K is that the games just looks much sharper um, they they uh, they have more color into it uh, that's what I've been noticing um, other than that uh, I don't know maybe some of you have played FIFA before but I thought that FIFA played much smoother you know it, it played I don't know it it was kind of fast. Uh, people have been asking me if there's difference in in 80p and 4K. Well, like I said, yeah, there is a bit. Uh, you know, th these games are not meant to be 4K. They're 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 upscaled to 180p. But um, yeah, they they look much cleaner, more color. So, yeah, let me show you Forza 6. Let me pick a car. So yeah, I'm gonna switch back now to 180p. Let's see the difference. So this is the 180p. Also what I noticed is that when I switch back to 180p is the uh, the sound gets much quieter, you know, the end game sound. When I back when I switch back to 4K the uh, the sound gets much louder. Yeah, this one is an 80p. I'm gonna switch back to 4K. So I'm gonna show you the controller um, compared to the original Xbox One. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that the uh, the guide button. Let me focus this. So the guide button is a bit different now compared to the uh, original Xbox One. It's like, uh, you know, as you can see, you can just slide through it. It, it doesn't feel like a button now. It feels like more like a touch, touch screen or something. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of find it a bit annoying uh, because when I want to see my friend list and I'll double tap and sometimes it works but sometimes it, it it just takes me back to dashboard 
you know like it's uh, yeah sometimes it's a bit annoying uh, when you when you want to go to your friend list but overall yeah it's uh, it's a nice controller you have a, a grip right here which had some yeah I don't know if it's useful but you know it's just there uh, the bumpers are much smoother So yeah, that's the uh, the Xbox One S controller. I'm gonna switch back to some in-game footage. Uh, let me show you some Battlefield 4. Oh, looks like I didn't download the map packs. So this is Halo 5, 4K on Xbox One S, let me show you how this one looks. So yeah, that's Halo 5 uh, in 4K. Well, not basically in 4K, but you know what I mean. So let me see. Mm. Yeah, people have been asking me, uh, is the Xbox One S uh, more powerful? Uh, that's something I don't know, you know, the, maybe, I don't know, but Microsoft needs to confirm that if there's another GPU or, yeah, that's something I can comment on. Uh, people have been asking me, does it, how long does it take to start a game? Well, it's basically the same as Xbox One original, so there's no difference. The only difference I noticed was the, the when you start the Xbox One, I think it's it's a bit... Uh, faster than the original one. First, when I got the Xbox One, uh, it had the old dashboard. I thought it was because of that, but later on, when I got the new uh, dashboard, uh, it was still fast. So, uh, yeah, that's what I noticed. Um, the IR, the IR blaster works works fine. <clears throat> So uh, when I turn off my console, it automatic automatically turns off my uh, TV too. So, yeah. Um, people have been asking me, is it worth it? Um, well, what I can all, all I can say is, um, if you if you have a 4K TV, you 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 should get it. Uh, it's it's really worth it, but even if you don't have a 4K TV, uh, I think it's uh, it's still worth it. You know, if you have the uh, original Xbox One and you can trade it for 200 bucks, do it. You know, it's 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 much smaller than the original Xbox One, but that's the, that's not the only benefit that you will get. You will also benefit when when the Xbox Scorpio comes out next year. Uh, you know, Microsoft confirmed that there will be trade offer uh, for uh, people who own Xbox One S. So you will benefit from that one too. 
Um, I don't know which bundle you should get, you know, uh, as you may have seen, I'm, I'm all digital, so I went for the 2 terabyte. First I thought I would go for the 1, but yeah, uh, even now when I installed uh, all my games and I still have to download them all, uh, you know, 2 terabyte is for people who own a lot of digital games, so... Or, or or you could just uh, use a external hard disk. Uh, that's an option too. So uh, as you can see, I'm I'm still downloading some few games. Uh, Black Ops 3 Online still left to download. Um, yeah, as you can see, I still uh, have one terabyte left. Um, I've downloaded 18 games so far. Um, yeah, still to download a lot more, you know. So, uh, yeah. Two terabyte is for people who, uh, who owns everything digital. So, yeah. Go for the two terabyte if you, if you own a, a digital games and if you don't have, uh, digital games or you're new to Xbox One uh, I think you should uh, go for the 500 gig which is super cheap you know 300 bucks for a ultra K media player plus you can play games on it it's it's very cheap compared to other media players out there uh, you can look for the, they're still expensive a 4k uh, media player uh, there's also another thing I wanted to say. Yeah, there there are there are different bundles. Uh, the 500 gig and one terabyte, which comes out on August 23rd. Uh, the two terabyte comes tomorrow, the August 2nd, uh, which costs 400. Uh, the 500 gig will cost you 300, uh, which comes out in two different uh, bundles. I think if I am. Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, one with Madden NFL and the other one uh, with Halo Bundle which in which includes uh, Halo 5 and uh, Master Chief Collection which is a nice deal, you know, you, you get two games uh, for free uh, I didn't get anything, all I got was a, a free controller um, but yeah, I didn't even get an headset so yeah, keep that in mind that, that you won't get an headset but uh, as you may know that the uh, Xbox One controller now supports the 3.5 jack input let me focus that as you can see right there so if you have uh, any headset it, it will work I use my uh, my phone headset uh, it works very, it works fine people can hear me uh, you know, I can hear them, so that's not a big problem. Um, yeah, I think uh, I've covered up as much as I could. Uh, I hope I answered all of your questions. Um, if there's any other questions, uh, post your comments down below. Let me know uh, if there's anything else you want to know. Uh, so far so good uh, the Xbox One S um, yeah that will be for today um, I will be uploading more videos so uh, make sure to check those videos out and uh, I'll see you guys in, a, in the next video